Hello, I am Wanderer001, and this is my review of the Mary Pet Cat Washroom Bench. So, if you're like me, um, you're probably researching this because, well, you have no place to put your cat's litter pan, and you're looking for something to kind of hide it away. In my case, this filled a very important need for me. Uh, in my previous living arrangements, we had a large bathroom that we could place a cat litter box in. Uh, it was tiled, didn't have to worry. Didn't have to clean up too much. Uh, in this particular new place that we have, we have carpet everywhere. We have tile in a small bathroom on the first floor, which is only really a half bath. So we had to downsize to a smaller litter pan, which my cats did not appreciate in the least. Uh, so we were looking for something to kind of conceal a litter pan. Now, I do know that there are some DIY stuff that you can do uh, to convert a you know box of any type, really, almost, into a litter pan storage device. Uh, however, being that we have moved and I don't have tools or the inclination at this time to do that, we went out and bought a pre-made one, so to speak. Uh, although this is very much like an Ikea thing, you put it together, uh, I believe it only took like 30 minutes. So, what you're looking at here is a box that is 22.64 inches high, has a width, so up there at the top, width, of 37.4 inches and a depth of 21.26 inches. Now, it does have these two front doors here, which are magnetized. I'll open those up in a second, but we're kind of working around some lights because this is not in the best place to actually take video. But what you're looking at over here is the door, which can be put on either side, depending on how you set it up upon installation. The door itself is eight inches high and seven inches wide. I will say I have a fairly large 20 pound cat and he gets in there just fine. Coming back over to the front here, actually no, we're gonna come to the side just to show you what the other side looks like. Uh, you can see the front doors are hinged and do have these little openings that you can grab up top thusly. Just bringing one of the lights a little closer so that's kind of an idea of what you see there. You can see the whole opening on the side there. Now you do have an interior space of 18.94 inches high with a width of 34.92 and a depth of 19.37. So it's a little smaller. However, it is large enough to accommodate larger litter pans and they even say that this can accommodate uh, electronic litter pans, if you have one of those, uh, you know, the self-scooping things, you can actually see there in the back, there's a little hole, so if you wanted to have your electrical cord run out the back of it. Now, over here is the litter pan that I use, and this is a litter catch. I'll have both of those linked down in the description below, because at first, we put this in, that litter pan, in here without that catch, and all up front here, the litter was just coming out, so it helped contain everything, but didn't do a as good of a job as we were hoping, so that's why we got that litter catch. Now, if we come in, you can kind of see the quality of the wood that you have. This is just scratch marks from litter being rubbed up against this as I pull that litter pan in and out. Now, we went with this particular model because the doors opened like this instead of having one that the pop top uh, and you'd have to lean in to get the litter pan. I kind of wish that it did have a rail system. I have seen some people uh, show ways that you can set that up with something like this, and I probably will be doing that, only because, you know, taking it out and pushing it back in do, do leave those scratches, but also when the litter pan is full, uh, it is a little heavy. You can also see back there, there are some scratch marks from where the litter pan actually rests. But again, it's not terrible for what you're getting and what you pay. You also see that there are these channels down here. What this is, with an included divider wall, you can actually set this up. And doing this one-handed is not the easiest thing to do, but you can actually set this up to compartmentalize your litter area. So if you have a smaller litter box, you can put that here and then store actual litter and accoutrement over there. For myself, the larger litter pan does not allow me to do this, so I just kind of keep that out of there. So I just kind of keep that out of there because I can't do that with the larger litter pan. The one thing I will suggest doing is probably putting like a stick-up light up there if you don't have this in a well-lit area. 
only because, well, this is in a part of my house that doesn't get a lot of light, so as even for filming, I'm dragging light from elsewhere just to do this. So my cats, when we first got this, were not sure about this, so what I ended up doing was I would have the litter in here, I had both the doors open, and they realized that the litter was here now, and then they started using it. Slowly, I would shut one door, and then a week later, shut the other door, and then they figured out they use this hole over here to get in and out of here. So it's, it's good at concealing litter odor, because this is on my first floor in our living room, pretty much. Uh, it does not look like a litter concealment device. In fact, uh, our pet sitter, when we went away, I forgot that I hadn't told them what, uh, you know, where the litter was in its new location, and I got a call from them asking where it was, and when I told them it was in the box in the front of the room, they were like, oh, that's really neat. I would not have noticed that. So it, it looks really nice. The, the top of it, my cats used to get to the windowsill here. Uh, it says it supports no more than 60 pounds, but if you want to put like a litter, uh, a cat bed up there, you should be fine, but don't have people sit on this. It's not strong enough for that. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put the litter and the catch in here so you get an idea what that looks so like. So here you go. This is an idea of what this particular litter box and litter catch look like inside. I do have a hood for this particular litter box, which is what we used when we had it in the condo, and we had more space for that. Sadly, the, the dimensions will not allow for the litter hood to be on here, but I will say, when this is all closed up, you really can't smell any of that litter odor that you normally get if you just have a litter box out in the open without a hood on it. So for me, this is a really good uh, setup. Normally, I'll, I'll also stash the uh, litter scoops over there. I'll probably push that forward a little bit more. But you can kind of see here where the grooves are. It's not quite big enough to allow for a, a division with this size litter pan. So what we're going to do is we are going to just shut the two doors there. They are magnetized up there at the top. And they normally don't quite swing like that. You can see it's not quite even with the setup of the doors. But again, that's kind of what you get in a lot of these self-setup situations. Uh, but all in all, the Mary Pet Cat washroom bench has served its purpose very well for me. I'm, I'm happy that we got it. It is a little pricey, but not the priciest uh, option out there. Uh, you can pick it up on Amazon for about $125. I know that they have uh, it on Wayfair and Chewy. So really, a uh, quick look at the back there. Really, if you're looking for a nice cat litter box hideaway, I would highly recommend checking out the Mary Pet Cat Washroom Bench. I have been Wanderer001. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the area below. Thanks for watching.